Manhattan Edge. How to location equipment applications dealing with challenges. At the end of July it will be uh, two more days of Manhattan Hedge which I'm gonna film and I'll be uh, scheduling to uh, film Manhattan Hedge fashion show in front of the Hedge now that I know how to film it. Uh, join us at Alexander E. Gurpin. I will uh, do research uh, more locations and now and uh, before the day is approaching for the best locations to do a show. It will look somewhat similar to the Beatles famous crossing lights and I have to have a few recognizable uh, ideas to make that uh, show works. <laughs> Out of two days that I shot Manhattan Hedge I did the first day shooting with supermodel Alina on the streets and, uh, and day two I shot on a bridge. Uh, besides the obvious, you need to come to early to get a spot. Lots of people come. You better bring a good lens and proper camera. I shot one day with 24 70 millimeters and the other day I shot with 70 300 millimeter lens. Tall, extremely tall tripods is the great help. Last minute it will be a whole bunch of folks in front of you with their cell phone sticks in, uh, in front of your lens to breaking the camera focus abilities. I saw one guy putting camera on tall C-stand but did not know how much stable his footage was. Um, bring a ladder, tall ladder, it will help. Getting center spot is uh, quite useful but not crucial. I actually like more a bit of a skew angle shot uh, so it may look uh, may, uh, may work much better. No one will hold your reflector for you so don't bring it. You might want to bring on uh, camera light if you film a subject in front of you, uh, your hedge but I find silhouette shots more interesting. This 42nd Street uh, East is the all the way by the 1st Avenue is a good spot, but 34th Street and 14th Street are also good choices. I think the, uh, the wider the street, the longer you may get, and get, uh, get to see the sun. I was able to network with uh, many other photographers and that is great. Uh, free shoot that allows you to network with folks who are otherwise out of your photography circle and you uh, can see the equipment they have. So do not waste time before and after the hedge. Get as many Instagram names as possible to pitch them your services later. Shooting for a client a product assigned or service will get you some attraction just because it becomes more and more a thing. So in the end of July we'll announce the next shoot and uh, you will get quite an amazing content.